Hi, I'm Emily Park with 350.org. Did you know that in 2021, just four U.S. banks contributed over $181 billion to the fossil fuel industry? And while U.S. megabanks get rich off of climate chaos, the rest of us are suffering from climate disasters. Just last month, 350.org came together in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, to tell the U.S. Federal Reserve, the referee of the American banking system, that we need to stop the flow of money to fossil fuels if we want a livable future. It's not a radical idea. The International Energy Agency stated that there must be no investment in new fossil fuel supply projects starting today if we're to reach net zero emissions by 2050. And you know what? Our words made a difference. A few weeks ago, the Vice Chair of Supervision of the Board, Michael Barr, announced that next year the Fed will be analyzing lenders' financial climate change risks and will begin to determine how to manage the risks that climate chaos poses to the stability of the U.S. economy and to our lives and livelihoods. These are some great first steps, but this is still just the beginning. We're going to continue to urge the Federal Reserve to take stronger, more decisive action to end the funding of climate chaos. That's why we showed up at the global climate strike in Chicago. What do we want? Today, Friday, September 23rd, is a global day of action for people to unite and to declare to the governments and the corporations of the world that they are not doing enough. And we will hold them accountable. There is no bigger threat to the U.S. economy than the climate crisis. And just a couple of weeks ago, the Federal Reserve's Vice Chair of Supervision announced the Fed is finally going to start analyzing financial risks of a climate crisis. thanking the Federal Reserve for taking steps to protect our economy from the climate crisis. And we're here to remind them that the hundreds of thousands of young people marching around the world today are counting on an end to fossil fuel financing. Join us and find out more at fossilfreefederalreserve.com.